This is part two of our bicycle ride across Missouri. If you didn't catch the first video of the first three days from Clinton to Jefferson City, well, you're just gonna have to stop now and go back and watch that. We also got to take part in a PBS documentary about the Katy Trail, so be sure to check that out as well. I have a link to that video by PBS underneath this video as well. Now things get only better and more exciting as we ride from Jefferson City to St. Charles. This time we meet musicians, artists, small cafes, and Mother Nature goes ballistic on us. So where are we headed today? <laughs> down the Katy Trail. I think we're going mile down I, the Katy Trail. I think we're going to Hermit. We're on the road. You just go by these beautiful little farms along the route. Look at these views of the mighty Missouri. We are basically going to be following that for the next 180 miles. Second breakfast stop. So how is it riding with your grandson? Well, it's great. Jaden just started riding. But he's uh, he runs marathons, so it's really not a stress to him. I rode with my kids before, but they got over there. They're busy. And how's it riding with your grandfather? It's fun. It's one thing I never would have thought I would have got into is the bike riding, but I've enjoyed it a lot more than I've done any marathons. I like the scenery. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. My favorite part is the scenery and stuff. It just changes constantly. All right. So one, two, three. This is Standing Rock, and there's a sign over there that says, do not climb on the rock. <laughs> All part of the history along this. Supposedly, there's some sort of marker on it that shows you where and how high the floodwaters got in different years. Hey, Toby. Do you want to get out? Do you want to go for a run? Definitely want to. High bluffs on the left, river on the right. Sun, what more can you ask for? Yeah, sun's out bright. And awesome cafes and company. Yes. Weather. Good people along the trail. Yes. And then you have all these little cafe stops along the route. Very well designed. Hiya. Where are we at? Whole Souther's Bar and Grill. Okay, and you're the proprietor. Yes. My grandfather bought this building in 1930 and had it, it was just a sandwich shop, uh, deli, grocery store, and then 1933 after Prohibition he put in the tavern. He had it for 36 years, his nephew had it for 26 years, their daughter had it for five, but then it was out of the family for 25 years until I bought it back yeah, in 2016. Oh, cool. Yeah. And between Jefferson City and Herman, where is the place to eat along the Katy Trail? The only place to eat between Jefferson City and Herman. And it's a great place to eat, too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Eat to ride and ride to eat. Now it's time to get back on the bike. A really memorable lunch break. Look at the river down there. And once again, we have just more disgustingly beautiful trail to ride through.
They had a big rock fall here from the cliff and had to reroute the trail around it. Did a great job. The problem is you cross so many of these beautiful little bridges that I stopped filming most of them. I probably only film one out of ten. What's so great about the bike path? You're not alongside a road like this with loud traffic zipping by you. Look at how beautiful that is. Almost at camp, babe. Coming into Herman. Yeah. <laughs> we may have to eat here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is 6.30 in the morning. And I don't know if you can hear the rain that is falling on the tent. And it is lightning like crazy outside as well. So we gotta figure out what we're doing today and what our plan is going to be. It's gonna be an adventure. Most people rode. <laughs> but here's the smart people. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine and I decided we have paid our dues riding in the rain. So we're taking the shuttle bus for the side. Okay, plan B continues. We just got shuttled here to Augusta. Well, we're headed back that way. We're going to try and go halfway back along the trail because the storm that we had is moving north now. We'll see how far we get. It does look awfully dark up there. We may be on plan C now. We've gotten about seven miles from camp, heading back up the trail. We wanted to get to the lunch, the halfway spot, and it's starting to chuck it down on us again. So now the question is, do we press on to the lunch spot or do we turn around and go back? Either way, I think we're getting wet. And for all of you out there who criticize us for taking the shuttle, I want you to know that we have paid our dues in the past riding in the rain. Oh yeah, in spades. We lived in England. This is part of the Katie Land Trust. They're also helping preserve like the wetlands, small farms, and sort of some of the historic areas. Katie Trail Tours and Shuttle, and what I do is I shuttle people, obviously. I also design tours. I do trip planning for them, bag haul, whatever they need on the Katie Trail when they're out here. Really a community of uh, people that help support riders on the trail. So I'm glad to be involved in this. Guys like this have been such a big help along the ride so far. I really appreciate it. All right, thank Even you. with the broken finger. Yeah. Yeah. So these bike trips are a good example of it's not the end that matters, but it's the journey. Because when you get to the end, there's just the campsite. You might as well enjoy and stop along the way. Well, so much for staying nice and dry today. The rain got us. <laughs> and we got soaking wet anyways. It happened. Well, we backtracked to the halfway point to the lunch stop. And here we are. Look at this cafe. Isn't this place amazing? An old historic hardware store is now a cafe. A damn fine one at that.
about the ride? Best thing about this ride is the camaraderie, meeting all the nice people here. Marty, for instance. I love the canopy of the trees. It's it's like a tunnel you ride through. Yeah. I like meeting all the people from all over the country because I love biking. I like drawn. the safety aspect. Been a good time. Met people from places I didn't expect to be here from numerous states and other places. Some new friendship. I like uh, being able to explore the entire trail. I've been on the trail a lot, but I've never done the whole thing. You're fantastic. I, I like drawn. the safety aspect. I like it uh, because I'm getting older and it's level. The shade under the tree canopy. My favorite part is the scenery and stuff. It just changes constantly. Oh man, the fall colors coming in with the leaves. Fantastic. Best parts uh, meeting all the people. High bluffs on the left, river on the right. I wish it was about another week. I've had such a good time. Um, even through the rain and the cold and the winds, I would take three more of those days to keep going. It's really been fun. No more rain. That will be well worth the wait. But it was a phenomenal little coffee shop. And it's nice to see these old historic buildings being put to new use. This trail is loaded with history about Daniel Boone as well. In fact, his grave site is just a few miles up, but then it was down along where the Katy Trail is now, and then they moved it up to higher ground to avoid the floods half mile detour off the road to come back here but i think it's worth it seeing daniel boone's supposed grave site now the story goes is that he was originally buried here but then the people from kentucky came took his uh coffin and buried it at a grave site in kentucky but the people around here say they got the wrong coffin that this really is daniel boone's burial site Just riding through some more OBS. Obscenely beautiful scenery along the Katy Trail. So we're riding down the trail and we meet Matthew who works with Kickstand Katy Trail Bike Shop. And his family is from Nottingham, England also, but... Get a lot of customers looking for the e-bikes now. I'm more of a traditional cyclist myself, but I do see the appeal, they are a lot of fun. Mike also has a YouTube channel, so tell me what your YouTube channel is. It's mid underscore bike underscore crisis, mid bike crisis. And I do mainly long distance rides. And I wanted to try and qualify for Paris Brest Paris this year, but I DNF'd my last qualification ride, which was a 600k ride up in Wisconsin. But that's mainly what I do. So go check out his YouTube channel also. Thank you guys. The nice thing about riding after a rainstorm it's just how quiet it is. All you hear is your tires on the ground. taking photos for Dan Burkhardt, who is the head of Magnificent Missouri. That's MagnificentMissouri.com. If you want to go there sometime, book on uh, the Katy Trail. It'll be out, I think, next spring, summer, fall, something like that, but in 24. It's MyName.com, and my name is Dennis Coelho, C-O-E-L-L-O. We were raging between you and me, I'm sitting on the porch just watching that river rise. Creeping all around me right before my very eyes We just got the corn and it's covered the track Now all I want is I'll get my baby back And I'll see you when the water goes down Just sit on the bank and watch the river flow by all day hey. Now it's up on the porch and it seems like it's here to stay 
with Michael Bauermeister, no Mo. We have websites and we have YouTube and we have email and phone numbers, Instagram, whatever. The website is um, G L O R I A A T T O U N dot com. And he is Michael Bauermeister dot com. B A U E R M E I S T E R. It's got the corn and it's got the track. Now I want to run and get my baby back and I'll see you. Michael Bauermeister's art studio, art gallery. I love this. Yeah. I work in here. I am really inspired by nature and actually so inspired by walks on the Katy Trail. Like if you look at these pieces in detail, you'll see little elements of things that I have actually found on the trail. Like. Looks like we're going to get one more storm this evening. Man, this has got some steep little hills in this town. Quite a spectacular day, even if it was Plan C. Time to head for dinner. All right, day six. Uh, day six of Big, Big Bear. It is so cold right now, but we are leaving Augusta today for St. Charles, last leg of the Big Bear. One very cute little town. We're the last out of camp again? Well, I think it's just team stuff. my bike! It is. I've never seen a stick stuck in a bike like that before. Ah, ah. There you go, babe. Thanks. You're good to go. Very foggy quiet today. This is where Daniel Boone used to carry out judgment. So he would stand judge and if a person was convicted of their crimes, they would hang them from this tree. This trail is just littered with these beautiful little postcard type villages along the route. It really reminds me of bikepacking in England or Europe or someplace. So, you sad to see the ride come to an end? Yeah, but it's fine. It's been a good ride. Yeah, it has. Look at this uh -huh. Wow. I think that's the first historical marker we went by without stopping to read it. My wife and I were thinking that this trail is a lot like a good book. 
has a beginning, middle, and end. It's loaded with lots of great characters, history, side stories, little detours off the side here, some drama with thunder and lightning storms, and then finding out all sorts of historical events. Now, fortunately, we're kind of in the last chapter here today, but the Katy Trail has been one great book. Weldon Springs. Right into all the beauty of this final day ride, you get this element of drama that's introduced. Here at Weldon Springs, there used to be the towns of Hallwell, Hamburg, and Tunerville. And during World War II, the U.S. Army acquired 17,000 acres of land here and moved those three towns. It's really staggering to think. Here we are in the middle of all this beauty. And we're right in the middle or the edge of a super fun cleanup site with waste that's going to last 4.5 billion years. That's mind-boggling. You know you're getting towards the end of the route and a bigger city when you start seeing bigger roads, highways going over. Yeah, these are the signs of the trail that we're getting close to the end. You see some of the old Katy Railroad line there. Our terminus day, we just have a mile more to go. Well, we found out that the official end is a quarter mile down the road here. That's where the bell is. End of the ride. Bike Stop Cafe. This is it. Ride is over. It's just a little chilly. Oh my, I got a helmet here. You do. So I'm with Todd, the event director for Big Bam on the Katy. And I've been involved with Big Bam for since 2015. If you were gonna tell somebody what Big Bam and the Katy is all about, what would you say? You know, I, I think it's about bringing people to Missouri, introducing them to kind of basically rural Missouri and the little shops, the little restaurants, things like that. And what's your favorite part as being an event director? We have like solo riders that'll come from one place. And by the time they leave here, they got five new friends. After we rang the bell, we boarded a bus and then headed back to Clinton where our car was left. Click over here if you want to see other bicycle adventures we've gone on. And then down here, this is a recommendation from YouTube about what they think is the best video for you. Until next week, peace.